So I'm a zebra hunter. Um, a lot of people refer to me as the doctor for rare and ultra rare disorders. Um, so as a geneticist, uh, I work very hard to be able to identify for my patients if there is a genetic cause for their disease and ultimately to be able to provide some of the services I was discussing. Support, ultimately cure for these conditions and help families build healthy families as they're doing this. So patients come to me actually from around the world with what they consider undiagnosable conditions, you know, disorders that haven't been diagnosed or conditions that are relatively rare where the average doctor doesn't know about these things. And they come to me as an expert in many of these areas. I have specific expertise in areas that are related to heart conditions, pulmonary hypertension being one of those, but various other heart conditions, uh, including cardiomyopathies, arrhythmias, congenital heart disease, pulmonary hypertension, also several different types of cancers. Also, a lot of families come to me with children with unusual disorders. As a pediatric geneticist, um, many families come to me because their child has either some form of neurological problem, intellectual disabilities, developmental delays, uh, but also just something that people can't figure out, can't seem to understand. Um, as we do that, one of the things that's been very rewarding is to realize that in many of those cases, they are very rare disorders, but to be able to then establish the patient community to be able to aggregate our collective knowledge around that. And so I've actually been the leader, or what they call the principal investigator, for many studies of these rare disorders where we've been able to, in some cases, have bring families into clinical research centers where we can do very detailed analysis to try and understand what are the multiple dimensions to this, um, understanding the natural history about how this changes over time to be able to give parents information ahead of time. And most recently, we've been developing actually ways of being able to partner with families internationally by collecting data online. So we do a lot of online data collection, as well as uh, being able to even do things like collecting data remotely by having people use remote sensors, where we can basically um, be able to have families in their natural home environment, rather than the artificial environment of our clinical situations or our clinical laboratories, and remotely collect data from individuals under a more natural setting to understand what their everyday life is really like. So we do a lot of work uh, around rare disorders. Pulmonary hypertension happens to be one that we've, we're talking about today, but we actually uh, enjoy partnering, and, and I want to emphasize that, partnering with families and, and patients because ultimately they know themselves the best and, and can give us the greatest insight into how to attack their diseases.